<laughs> Grabe si Mami ma- baul, <laughs> baul Oo, talaga. Oo, di ba kasi nag i tayo ng food? Oo. Dahil, ano, no. Ano oh, malalim ito? Ano ba yan? Sa akin, rages lang na ano. Wish. Clover lag. <laughs> Parang dapat kunin ka ng endorser ng ano ah, ng clover chips. <laughs> ano? Uh, kung hindi kung hindi ako kunin na endorser, i-demand ako. Kinagamit mo pangalan namin. Oo <laughs> nga. Dapat ano ah, ang sunod yung flip chat and still sponsor sponsored, sponsored by, by Clover. Chips. <laughs> Aba eh kung what do you call this? Kung yung mga iba dyan na nagbe-business ng mga food, kung gusto nilang ma-promote dito, ito go. Mm. Bakit hindi? True. Kasi we, we, we do have a strong following here. Hindi, um, ang, hindi ko po tinitignan kasi yung active viewers. Ang tinitignan ko yung, ano, yung overall view, view count. Uh-uh. So, mas mas importante po sa akin yun. Eh, usually naman sa sponsors, hindi naman tinitignan. Hindi yung active ah, yes. viewing. Yes, true. Hmm. Ay, si Mami, fresh na fresh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Saang banda? <laughs> Ayan, nagsidatingan na sila. Aba, itong mga to, late, ah. Oo nga, alas 5 na eh. Hindi naman, 4.59 lang eh. Ano na ito, Hi, Jason! Hey, Nipperty! Hey, Phoenix! Hi, Jason! Na? Eto. Abuti naman. We are preparing our sponsors. Hello! Hello. 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 Sino isa uh, pa? Si Bong. Ah, alright. Tayo na naman. Hindi na tayo nagsasawa sa isa't isa. Sige, alis na ako. Nagsasawa <laughs> na ako sa'yo. Nakatulog na ako. Eh, live na pala. Ako, ako din, natulog muna. Live na pala tayo. Ano? Ay, ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Ano ba? Eh, mga late kayo eh, siyempre. <laughs> Yan, that's what you get for being late. Kami ni, kami ni Mami, nakaprepare-prepare na kami. Planchado na lahat. Oh, ay, hindi ko pa pala nabubuksa yung chichiri ako. <laughs> On time kaya kami, 5 o'clock, di ba? Yeah, hindi, hindi kayo late. Ayan, si Bong. Ah... Uh, Ano, si Bong perpetual talaga itong angulo ng camera niya ganito. Perpetual. Forever. Forever ng ganito. <laughs> Pansin ko lang. From the very beginning, ganito. Ito, na, ito ba talaga ang opisina mo, Bong? Yes. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> Pansin ko lang, every time na lang si ganito ang ano ni Bong. It's nice. It's very consistent. Kami ni Jason, papalit-palit. Lalo na si oh. Jason. <laughs> Every single time, if I am. <laughs> well, we try to. Para naman hindi masyadong boring. Yeah. What are we going to talk about again? What What time is it? 5.01. Oh, Anna, yeah, are you, are you yeah. guys ready? Everyone ready? Yes. Uh, Jason, I think there's something there is something going on with our intro video because in my browser and in Anna's browser, whenever we start the, the intro video, it speeds up in, at the very beginning. Oh. Sumbong ero. Ngayon ka lang sumbong. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi, somebody, has, somebody has to fix it. I don't know who's going to fix it. It has to be fixed. Try so, I'll try it. I'll try playing it. If See, no one's yeah, going to fix it, siyempre na sasabihin ko sa pinakamataas. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to play it. Play it. Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Sige, sige.
Hello, hello everybody! Welcome back to another episode of Flip Chat and Chill, where we get to drag... Did we drag anybody here? No, I don't think so. But we get to bring people to talk about the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, the good, the bad, and the beautiful of freelancing. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about Anna. How the new normal economy is impacting the online freelancing industry. And now, ladies and gentlemen, pakishare na lang po itong webcast na ito. At ano, pakisabi rin po na nandito sila, uh, Mr. Jason Dumana, si Anna Soriano, si Mimi Bernie. Dumana daw, oh. Santi niya. Jason, oh! Wow, sorry! <laughs> si, si Jason Dulay. I'm so sorry, Jason Dumana. Sorry, ah! Sorry, sorry. Napadaan, ano ba naman? Wow, this is a first. <laughs> this was the first. Si Mr. Jason Dulay, si Miss Anna Soriano, si Mami Liberty po, at si Miss Bong Isleta. Hindi po siya sir, ha? Ma'am Bong Isleta. Oh, wow. Shout out kay Jason Dumana, wherever you are. <laughs> biglang, nadula, biglang nadulas ang dila. Ewa ko kung bakit. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Anna, why are, we, why are we talking about this topic? Why? Because ito yung ano, perfect uh, topic talaga dahil na sa nangyayari natin, sa nangyayari sa atin sa ngayon na, na ito na yung may new normal natin, diba? So, yung dahil sa COVID. So, I guess ito yung ano, magandang i-discuss kung ano yung naging effect din naman siya sa, sa freelancing, kung ano yung naging effect sa freelancing industry. Yes, yes. Star studded tayo ngayon, ladies and gentlemen, because we are talking about the new normal today. Kaya tinawag po namin ang aming mga uh, big time freelancers, yung mga pinaka successful, and those who are still going and surfing through the whatever is happening now are days. Kaya nandito po ang ating panel, our uh, one and only Mr. Jason Dula. Say hi to everybody, please. Okay, good afternoon to everybody. My name is Jason Dulay. I am the founder of the VA Bootcamp and Flip. Uh, and I'm here to share my thoughts, answer any questions that Phoenix might have for me today. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you, every one of you, to please ask your questions this time. Kasi po nandito po itong mga bigatin natin, mga well-experienced at very successful freelancers. But ako naglalaway. And <laughs> also, we have Miss Bong Isleta. Again, hindi po siya, sir. Miss Bong Isleta. Say hi to everybody, please. Hello everyone. Nandito na naman. Parang Saturday lang magkakasama tayo. No? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, what's going on with the new normal nowadays, Miss Bong? Ah, uh, parang ngayon palang ulit pumabalik yung client kong isa, kaya medyo nandini bago pa. Mm -hmm. Ayan, good, good, good. So we can talk about how this quote unquote new normal is affecting us today as freelancers. And finally, we also have Mami Liberty. Hello, po, Mami. Please Hello. say hi to everybody. Hello, good afternoon. How are you guys? Uh, I'm Liberty Baldovino, also known as the Youthful Granny. Hello. Hello po. Ay, pagpasensya na po dahil natatawag ko po siyang mami kasi yun po ang tawag ng iba. Nakikimami din po ako kaya ano, with, all, with, okay with, all, with all respect po sa kay, kay Miss Liberty. And of course, you have me, your host, and with my co-host. Hello, co-host. Hello, good afternoon sa lahat. Magbabati muna ako ng mga, ng mga viewers namin. Yeah. May inyo ba background ko? Medyo yes. Mayroon. May vitamin nyo. Ayun lang. Sige, mag-mumit tayo lang ako. Hindi, joke. Good afternoon kay JT, kay Alex, ayan, kay... kay Mar Ang dami mo daw guesting bossing. Oo, oh, kailangan ano, visible daw siya the whole month of June. Alam mo na. <laughs> Papansin. <laughs> si Nicole from Carmona, Cavite. Si Vanji from Santa Mesa. Si Jessica Kalindan, watching from Dasmo. Queen Felix, ang gagaling at... Ah, ang galing talaga naman. Nakaka-inspire mga guests na ka-everyone. Thank you so much for this. Ayan. Si Gracia Ann Garcia, hello. Um, Star-studded daw ulit. Si Robelyn Legada, good afternoon po. Thank you si, ano, si Alex K. Bongs. Iawak pa nung nangyari. Si, Moha si Muhammad Ali Kabuntalan, good afternoon. Cheryl Rosario 
uh, good afternoon coaches, Mario Cecilia Elion, Cindy Clark, Annie Absalon, um, Geraldine Almoras Duca, watching from Cabuyo, Laguna. Um, SG Asael Abbas, sabi po, Maria Teresa Alpido, bakit parang ipa audio Oo nga, no? Ayusin ko lang yung audio ko. Hindi ako nagkabit ng mic. I'm so sorry. I'm so mm-hmm. tamad po. Yan lang. O, oh, teka lang. Ang tamagotchik kasi. Today lang ba? <laughs> sorry. Hanggat sa, hanggat sa matino ang audio mo, imi-mute kita. Anna. I'm so sorry. Nagpakahirap kaming apat dito samantalang ikaw. Eh. Ano But anyway, thank you very much everybody for coming and I hope you just keep on throwing those questions and comments para po sa mga panel natin ngayon. Take advantage of this entire hour para matalakay. Is that the right word? Talakay natin itong... Uh, <laughs> no <sublita ko. laughs> and now I forgot what Tagalog is for topic. Uh, uh, topic. <laughs> How the new normal economy is impacting the online freelancing industry. So people are wondering about. People are getting scared, especially the new the newcomers. People are scared of what's going on in freelancing. Is the is the freelancing economy rising up? Um, in a plateau or going down, Jason? Well, we, we, we shared the survey results um, mm-hmm. somewhere there. Na, I don't know the exact numbers, but like a third are, of freelancers are saying that there are less jobs, but there are parang 17% or something like that that are saying that there are more jobs, that there's a bigger increase. So I think what we're seeing here, okay, what we're seeing here, yung trend natin, is a lot of these countries are, parang they're, they're reopening na, they're coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's a lot of pressure from the economy and all that na for the for countries to open up again, right? Um, and as, parang these, these past months, the entire world has realized na, the weather's a shift. The entire world has realized that that everything is moving online. I mean, mm-hmm. the trend is there, but even like right now, the basahate, you know, we are we're ordering online. We're getting food delivered all the yes. time. We're not really going going to malls and so on. So, and we're realizing, and as that trend grows, um, you know, the, the there will be more online businesses. There's more demand for online services, um, and we will see slowly i think we will see more jobs open up actually that's nice that's nice I, I, yes i i strongly agree with you it seems like the world the entire world uh the moment na lumabas ang ang covid-19 and cov palang noon the world seems to be taught to just sit and wait assuming that this yeah. will be done in two months time or something but the world our leaders are starting to realize that uh no that's not gonna happen we cannot wait so we have to start acting right now and assume that this is going to be our everyday life hence the word new normal and yeah um thank you very much for that insight at least it gives confidence to everybody that you know the employment is still is starting to rise up okay uh, i hope you people will be encouraged again um ladies ladies and gentlemen keep sharing the the webcast and let us know your opinion and where you are viewing this from at the same time we'll check on your comments and we'll, we will be highlighting them later on but mommy liberty in your opinion yes. um what are the advantages of us sitting for two months time here in the philippines as freelancers our advantages yes as freelancers na as freelancers in the philippines ang advantage natin first is we don't get to get covid hindi tayo lumalabas ng bahay eh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? So, yes. say, lalo na sa, sa case ko, uh, medyo hindi ako pinapalabas talaga ng mga anak ko. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi 55 na ako, eh, high risk daw ako, diabetic pa. So, hindi talaga pwede lumabas. So, uh, kung sa, kung empleyado ka, na tumigil mag-work, syempre wala ng income. Di ba? Isa nga sa mga problems yan ng mga tao ngayon kasi wala silang additional income. 
wala silang income talagang pumapasok aside from the ayuda ng government or from, you know, loans or something like that. Tayo hindi. Tuloy-tuloy lang ang pasok ng ano ng income kasi merong ano, merong source. Meron tayong work even without leaving home. Yes. Yes. Yes, I love I love that. I love that, ma'am, mommy, because at least you emphasize, especially with the age, mm. in, uh, regardless of our conditions, tuli tuli pa rin. I mean, yes. hindi tayo hindi tayo affected sa True. nangyayari dito ngayon because this, this is kind of our normal already. Yeah, thank Uh-oh. you very much for that, Miss Liberty. Now, eto e- may pauna ng ano? I love Alex. Alex is so active in in the uh, chat box here. Alex says, mauna na ako mag-ask ng question, are a survey of Pioneer presented by Jason in the email invite for this topic. How does this transcend to reflect Pinoy freelancers? Is the trend applicable to Pinoy freelancers? Jason? And which trend are you specifically talking about? Yung, yeah, can, you, can you clarify? Okay, okay, Alex, I guess. Okay, Alex. Okay. Okay. That email. Yeah. Uh, which kind of line yata natin. Sige, uh, clarify mo na lang yan, Alex. Okay, paki-clarify <laughs> daw po, uh, <laughs> ano, Alex. <laughs> um, Explore okay. further. I love that um I love that mommy pointed out the the benefits uh, uh the advantages that we are getting as freelancers during this time because our time uh, our world keeps turning while everybody is sitting down and that is the advantage of being freelancers kaya nga nagtataka ako bakit marami pa ring na, mga nagpapanic what are the disadvantages bong of uh this thing happening to us as freelancers disadvantages parang may ibang clients kasi talaga na nag-stop din Hmm. Nag-stop din yung work nila, nag-pause, naka-hold yung mga contract. Dahil affected din sila sa COVID, di ba? Pero ngayon, nagpaparamdam na sila. And may, meron din mga freelancers na parang nabawasan yung hours of work. Yes. Oo, pero meron din akong kilala mga freelancer na mas marami pang nakuhang client ngayong pandemic. Uh, in my experience, ako nga, oo, medyo tumatami. And uh, oh, oh. I, I heard from... Pa. Yes. Yeah, I heard from nagulat ako doon na mas marami silang nakuhang client. Yeah. But um in in some fields I think in some fields like um I've been uh I once spoke to our beloved Shoden, Dennis Abad and yun nga yung the video editing field medyo dumami ang mga clients and that is true in my experience parang uh video production kasi ang parang nagiging in demand ngayon due to mm-hmm. online advertisement but mm-hmm. we- whenever somebody well, some of our students make sumbong to, <laughs> to to you guys about losing clients or losing hours what were your uh, words of wisdom to them bong Parang ano nga si Lee, parang mas uh, hindi ko alam kasi meron pa rin, kahit nabawasan sila ng client, meron silang isang stable na client. Mm-hmm. Diba? So parang parang naging ano pa to, parang blessing in disguise na mas na nakapag-spend sila ng time sa family. Alam mo yun, yung parang, kasi diba dati yung mga husband na work or yung mga wife na work parang ganun. Parang ngayon, mas nakapag-spend pa sila. Parang mas naging okay pa sa kanila. Tapos ngayon na parang bumabalik sa, eto na yung new normal. Parang ngayon nila, sila, sila nag-iisip kung gusto pa ba nila ng iba pang clients. Oh, okay. Nag-slow so, down silver. lang konti. Okay. Yeah, uh, parang the... nag-slow down lang konti. Pero parang nakaganda pa rin naman sa kanila, di ba? Uh, kasi kasi ano consistent pa rin ang income and yet you are given this opportunity to spend more time with your family and that, uh, that is a good point but Anna for a person yes. with multiple children and a husband na uh, makukulit multiple this... children and husband <laughs> <laughs> and iisang husband na, mak- na makulit is this true is this true? Sa alin, na nagkaroon ng ma- mas madaming time? Yeah, sa akin. Yeah. Um, kasi dati parang ano eh, yung 
um, parati lang. Hatid sundo sa school, tapos mas matagal yung ano nila, yung time nila outside the house. Tapos ngayon nga, ang plan ko talaga, hindi ko talaga sila i-enroll. Nandito na talaga kami mm-hmm. for the whole year, so next year na talaga. Pero yung isang advantage na, na masasabi ko, kasi since diba freelancer tayo, every day na sa bahay lang tayo tapos pagka na nagkaroon na tayo ng parang bur- na burnout gusto natin lumabas kumain kumain sa labas mag-enjoy with friends ganyan so yun yung na-limit talaga sa ating mga freelancers kasi yun na nga lang yung way natin para ano diba para mag antang dito mag mag pardon <laughs> no na ano yung term para maka makapag-iba ng Mingle. ano ng ayun makapag-unwind ng galing si Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Para makapag-unwind. Ayun yung parating way natin, di ba? So, like si Bossing, gusto niya sanang lumuwas ng, ng Maynila dahil mag-birthday siya, pero hindi siya, maka, hindi siya makapunta dito, kawawa. <laughs> so, yun yung mga ganon. <laughs> kasi lagi, na, na, parang naging tradition na kasi na laging nandito siya sa Manila ng June. So, parang ayun yung parang na-limit sa ating mga freelancers. Yung parang medyo, ano, nasa bahay na nga tayo everyday, tapos hindi mm-hmm. pa rin tayo makalaga. So, parang lalong, ano, nakaka- nakaka-ano lang, nakakalungkot. <laughs> Kasi yun nga, hindi na makalabas, maka, para makapag-anuay. Yun. Ayun yung mga ano, namimiss ko. Ayan. The... Ay, add ko lang pala yung naging comment ng husband ko. Kasi yes. sabi niya, parang di ba parang affected tayo, mga maraming nawala ng trabaho, siya at nag-stop ng work. Tapos sabi niya, huwag ka na makistress dun sa iba na nawala ng trabaho. Kasi hindi ka naman nawala ng trabaho. Eh. Oo. Oh, okay. Parang wake up call sa kanya, oo nga naman. You know diba? what? That, I, I was going to ask about that, Bong. Very perf- uh, perfect timing. Kasi yan talaga ang susunod kong tanong. What is it that is bothering us freelancers despite the fact that we are not so much affected here uh, dito sa mga lockdown and curfews na ito? We are not so much affected. So what was the stressor? What is the biggest worry? Um, can I ask uh, Mami, Liberty? Sure. Yes. Ano yung question mo nga ulit? Uh, uh, despite Tama the again. fact that we despite the fact that we are already used to this kind of lifestyle being locked down and uh, curfews, it's not a suffering for us. So why was it so stressful for us when it was announced na yun nga kailangan natin mag-adjust ng lifestyle? What is the biggest worry? Siguro yung ano, um, the biggest worry yung mga lumalabas sa ba- ng bahay. Hmm. pagka umuuwi pagka yung galing mag- mag-grocery tsaka stressful din nga yung sabi ni Ana yung yung once a week ka na nga lang makakalabas hindi ka pa makalabas hmm. <laughs> diba? A- ako for one grocery lang talaga maligaya na ako eh noon pagka yung at least once a week pagka yung ano diba? Pag, basta I go, I go grocery shopping every at tsaka kain sa labas oo sayang saya na ako noon <laughs> Kahit yun man lang, makabili ka ng isang blouse, makabili ka ng ano, chinelas, ganun. maligaya na ako noon. Eh tapos nawala pa dahil talagang hindi ako pinapalabas sa mga anak ko. Yung, yung anak kong babae, kulang na lang maglagay siya ng, ng, ano, ng poster sa labas ng bahay namin. Oo, bawal lumabas. Bawal minsan gusto ako yung takas ni Papo, tara, tara, sabi pa, sabi pa. Oo, oh, yung Papo kong sabido. Eh. Mag-e-elo ko pa yung dalawa ni Papo ah. <laughs> hindi ba karo makapag-unwind nga rin si Mamu oh, diba? oh, oh. Ah, hindi ba wala ka na, eh, di ba kasi you work from home nai-stress ka na nga dahil syempre marami kang work dahil pagka sa content marketing ka ang dami talaga covered mo talaga lahat ng content so may pera ka nga di ka makalabas <laughs> yun <laughs> oh, nga no? may pang- hindi, hindi mo magagamit oh, oh, hindi mo mag- ng- Oo, tapos sabi ng anak ko, mama, huwag kang mag-alala. Kasi minsan, ang isa ko pang, ang isa ko pang stressor, ganito, pag minsan nag-uutos ako ng may pabibili, diba, hindi ako? tama yung binibili. Tama, tama. Kailangan mag-video chat tayo. Oo, oh, oh, katulad nung minsan, mag-bake ang anak ko ng ano, mama, pabili ka ng kalumet. Diba, nilist ako kalumet. Pagbalik, isang kilong kalumet ang binili. Sabi ko, ito kung mag-expire itong baking powder. Yung mag-inagamit. Isang cake lang ang lulutuin. Diba? Ma- ma- ano, Kaya diba naging ba? Naging viral din, di ba, yung mga posts na parang yung mga Uh-oh. asawa pag bumibili, Uh-oh. kailangan Uh-oh. naka-video at tapos ang ma- marahaba yung listahan, di ba? Di ba? Tayo, tayo po naman mga nanay, stress na stress tayo. Pag mali yung binili, o edi yes. kayo, yung mga kulang yung ingredient. Kulang. Truly. Mm-hmm. Parang mas gusto mo kaysa mag-utos, ikaw talaga oh, yung gagawa. Ikaw talaga. Tsaka iba yung ano, yung pag nandun, minsan may nakakalimutan ka, ilista, ganun. 
Di pag nag- Wala kasi sisi. <laughs> Oo, ikaw makikita, maaalala ah, mo pag nag-aano ka sa uh, nag-aisle hopping ka sa grocery. Ay, oh. ito nga pala wala ako nito. Oh, di ba? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that word. Aisle hopping. That's I'll new hop. to me. And that's yeah. new to me. I love that word. <laughs> it's a- ako, na- ako naman Phoenix, yung idadagdag ko. Yes, okay na okay na safe tayo as freelancer sa bahay, pero naging parang ano din, naging bar- very stressful din sa akin kasi marami akong friends na frontliners yung nasa ibang bansa mm. tapos puro mga nurses halos mga nurses may mga doc yung kapatid ko doktor nasa ano siya nasa nasa um Ah, nakalimutan ko kung nasa na siya. Anong nangyayari sa iyo? <laughs> Inaantok pa rin utak ko. Nasa ibang bansa. Nagutan ka, nagutan ka, kapatid mo. Nasa Kiev, Kiev, Ukraine. Nasa Ukraine siya. So parang, ayun, parang um, every echo. night. Ay, kanina nga echo? Hindi sa akin ba? Yeah, sabi so, na sabi. Sa akin, hindi naman. Let, let's see. May ano. Pero yun nga, as I was saying, parang masyado kong na-stress din na ah, ano, si may, may, may friend din ako na nasa US na nurse na nagka-COVID. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung kapatid ko nga, since nas, lahat nung uh, kapat, ibang kapatid ko lahat nasa ibang bansa, meron sa Australia, meron sa Singapore, meron sa Ireland. So parang nag-worry ako para sa kanila. Parang ang naging talagang ano lang din namin every, every day from since nag-start tong COVID na to, talagang we make it a point na talagang every night nagro-rosary kami ng family na keep safe yung family namin aside from dun sa mga friends and relatives namin na hindi namin kasama. Yun, yung parang nakaka-worry na parang ikaw, okay nga yung buhay mo, pero yung merong iba na yun nga, nagsasuffer, parang sana matapos na lang para maka, maka move on na talaga lahat. Pero parang ang tagal pa talaga, di ba? Bago matapos tong mm-hmm. anong to. Parang ito na yung magiging new normal. So yun, namimiss mo din yung mga hindi mo makita. Kasi ako, every every weekend, minsan pumupunta kami kay mami sa Batangas. So hindi namin siya nakikita. Parang namimiss ko na nga yung ganong ano, baka balik talaga sa normal, pero parang malabo pa. Matagal. Dahil, matagal. Ako sa... Ako sa unang month it was it was okay as a single person naman it's the dating that I miss so much. <laughs> it's the dating that I, it's the only time cuz it's the only time that I get out of the house naman kasi it, it, it's the dating ka that I miss. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. I go around. But yun nga yung para it, it's my means of of mingling with people and especially speaking um, pag minsan kasi you have to escape your I have to escape my work environment so I have to talk to people mm-hmm. who are non-freelancers who know absolutely nothing about freelancers and we we'll talk about something else kasi oh, okay. every, the whole day na lang na ito uh, na freelancing ang pinag-uusapan so I, I need to escape and now I don't have that I don't um I I may I may have that pero online pa rin kaharap ko pa rin ang computer ka I really I really need to uh see a person face to face and talk to them about anything else that revolves around the earth uh, pero yun nga um and the first month medyo okay okay lang pero after the first month I'm like bursting out already you know you know nakaka-stress Adele um it is okay for us to stay home until somebody tells us to stay home. Parang sa akin ganun yeah, yeah, yeah. eh. Kung kailan sinabi, inutos nila na hindi, kailangan mong magkulong sa bahay dahil it will keep you safe. Parang sa akin, it feels like I am uh, I'm a kid again. Na pinagbabawal talaga. <laughs> you have to stay home na gustong gusto kong mag- maglaro sa labas. That is how it feels, I think, with this. But we definitely have to change our our mindset because um magtatagal ata ito eh yun ang bar- yeah, kailangan yeah. ma-realize natin na we cannot sit and wait anymore because that was the program i think the, uh, especially our government tells us to just sit and stay there and uh antay na, this will pass yun ang sinasabi noon uh-huh. but it seems like uh this is going to be to be taking a long time and for me maraming mga nagsasabi na at the end of the year but i am a bit more skeptical with the uh-huh. lifespan of this pandemic feeling ko magtatagal pa ito ng 5 years or so. Na yes. Ang vibe. Ang, ang yeah, that's yeah. a question. Huwag naman 5 years, grabe. Um, parang meron um, ako nakitang post na gano'n, pero sa nawag. 5 years? Sa nawag. Oh, 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 five years. Yeah, oh of course, we, 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 still, we still hope and pray for a better tomorrow. Pero uh-huh. para sa akin, I would like to project it that far. 
Kasi mm-hmm. kesa naman sa uh, ma-disappoint ako next year, I would mm-hmm. be I would love to plan my my travels next year, but it would be very very heartbreaking kapag sasabihin na no. Kawawa ka na makasing. Five years na pa makakatravel. Manigas ka siya. <laughs> kami, kami, ano, we had to cancel our, ano, Bohol trip sa July. Oh. We were so much, oh. we were so looking forward to it, pero we you, had to cancel. You see, <laughs> yun na, eh, I, I think that is the, that is the most painful part, yung, you are able, you are capable, you are financially ready to spend, to, to tour, pero biglang sinabi na wag and it's yeah. it's so heartbreaking if you're lifting your expectations only to be let down mm-hmm. kaya para sa akin i would I, i would rather maximize this expectation na mm, wait for five years um, mm. i- ibahin na lang ang plano let's try to look Uh-oh. for something mm-hmm. else to do Tsaka, para sa akin. ano uh, on the brighter side of things uh, may adva- may advantage din tong stress na to kasi we get to save more money. Hindi ka makalabas yung mga makakaroon. na lang. Truly. Yeah. Once yung masisave mo, ipadala mo na lang sa amin. Oo, tama. Jason, I think ha? Um, yeah, um, I would like, I would like, ano daw, ano daw, napaka-spoiled. Napaka-spoiled daw. Ang team ni, ano, ang team ni, ni Jason, napaka-spoiled. <laughs> Malambing sila masyado kay Jason. But yeah, uh, uh, there is some, um, a, a quote ca- just came in my mind and I would like uh, for you uh, three to fix the phrase, the richer Uh, is getting richer with this pandemic because it doesn't seem like that however it seems like yung mga prepared na tao tayo mga freelancers we seem to be earning more and more money because of like what what, uh, what mommy said and this is not a bad thing kaya nga is, is there a way that we can convert the phrase the rich are getting richer within in, in this pandemic in a better light uh, before we get there Let, uh, let me see this. May nag-highlight ng Maria Teresa Olvido says, naapektuhan din po ba ng pandemic ang VAB? Principal, naapektuhan ba? <laughs> yun nga yung sasabihin ko, actually. Di ba parang na-mention ko last week, parang lately talaga, last month, maraming nag-enroll sa VA Bootcamp. And this month din, marami. So parang ang dami na talagang nakaka-realize na parang gusto na talaga nilang mag-work from home. Parang ang dami nang gusto mag-work from home at maging freelancer talaga. Dahil ito nga yung parang mas magiging new normal talaga at magiging mas safe talaga sila. Aside from sa family din nila, syempre, kung hindi sila lalabas. So, hindi kami naapektuhan. Thank God. <laughs> mm. in, some way, in some ways, we are affected, pero ito uh, hindi hindi masyad, hindi katulad ninyo sa corporate na a lot of you were really oh. laid off or basta mm-hmm. nakatenga lang diyan na hindi pa hindi pa sure kung tatawagin pa o hindi y- yung mga gana, we are not as affected as you guys pero the worries are still here we share your concerns dahil pati rin kami we are also nervous that the businesses of our clients might go down or we have to take miles of steps para lang ma-recover namin itong businesses businesses ng clients namin. So um, I guess you shouldn't worry unless you are not ready to innovate your approaches in uh, getting clients. Uh, let's proceed to Alex's ano, question here. Jason, hi Jason, apologies. I am unsure of the survey as to where or which country but i am referring to this what you mentioned in the email invite you sent earlier for this topic cs follows as a portion portion of your email a survey was done by pioneer pioneer among thousands of freelancers specifically freelancers were asked to share how COVID-19 has impacted the demand of their uh, for their services, their hourly rates, and what opportunities and risks they expect will arise from the crisis. Um, it, so Alex is asking kung yung origin. Um, it's general. It's in general, Alex. Mm-hmm. So I do think na maraming Filipinos dito kasi yung Pioneer users, marami naman mga Pinoy. Um, pero it is, it is in general. Na, yun, what I mentioned at the start, na Um, parang a third of the freelancers say na the jobs have gone down, pero um, around 17% are actually saying the jobs have gone up. So, yun, I think we're going to see that trend, that trend moving forward talaga. 
And yan yung extension po niya. Everybody, um, you guys, just check out what Alex, uh, if you want to know more about what yeah, Alex is na- talking about. Yan, yung five years. Yeah. Uh, ito ba yun? Oh, <laughs> ito oh. ba yun? Five years. Yan <laughs> lang. Yung, ano, it's, yung most common, I think, is two years, actually. That, that's the... Pa- pa- estimate. Oh, uh-uh. The most common estimate is two years. So I think it's a good... Ano, it's a good... You can date again in two years, Phoenix. So wag mong galala. <laughs> no, ano, uh, ako ano, this is it, it's more like my personal my personal estimate eh, yung 5 years na yan. I'm I'm the kind of person who tries to maximize the negative uh the expectations. But of course, be prepared if in case na things will change, it's always ready. Yun nga eh, uh I think uh, for us freelancers, we just have to have plan A, plan B, plan C kung sakasakali na may may mga changes because a lot of stuff is fluid right now because even the government itself or the employees and even the people pa iba iba ang decision ng sa ngayon because this is new there is wala po tayong manual sa fighting against covid-19 wala walang ginawang kahit nung panahon ng black plague wala silang ginawang day 1 you should be doing this day 2 you should be doing that wala pong ginawang ganun everybody was just uh, adjusting as days go by and this is what's happening in covid and this is something that we have to master as well as freelancers because yun nga yung our the flow of our economy is different yun nga ang parang gusto kong pag-usapan natin ng konti uh, how different is the flow of our economy versus the the uh, people who are working in corporate, for example? Mami Liberty, would you care to answer that? But bulag ako una mong tinatanong pag may hirap no. Hindi ako sabihin I'm so I'm so sorry. Hindi akala akala ko kasi nakausap ko na lahat. No because I love I love how you answer spontaneous uh, questions of mine. How you That's ano, that's, that's thanks to ano that's thanks to Miss Janet Oral kaya ganto ako mong sumagot. Yan, kasi meron kaming ano eh, book mastermind yan. Meron Ooh. kaming question and answer. Yes, question and answer. Yung an- yung questions are spontaneous. Doon ka mag-iisip. Hindi oh, okay. ka makaka-prepare. O, ulitin mo muna yung tanong mo para maano ko. <laughs> How to be fair. How different uh, okay. is the flow of money, the economy, between the freelancers and the um, people who are working in corporate, let's say? Uh, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, tayo tuloy-tuloy pa rin ng income. So, money flows. Meron, meron tayong ano, incoming na ano. Sila wala, nag-stop na. It's either, it's either naibigay na sa kanila yung whatever loan or whatever bonuses. Tapos, mm. still waiting. Still waiting pa sila sa ano. Tayo tuloy-tuloy lang ang income. And then, we all, since we already have the experience, mas malabang tayong makakuha ng work online kaysa sa kanila na ngayon pa lang mag-i-start. Kasi let's face it eh, kailangan, kailangan pa rin ng experience para ano, of course, makakakuha rin ng newbies ng work, but not as much as we can. Ganon. I love that. Um, y- yan nga ang sabi ko eh kaya, si Pami kasi kaya ako sinasabak agad kasi magaling po siya sa spontaneous na <laughs> extempo magaling <laughs> kahit na anong hirap ng question na pina- pinapasa ko sa kanya <laughs> sige lang ko pa rin ng- <laughs> pang miss you pang miss you wow <laughs> in a sense po I am showcasing your skills mami kasi po si, Ma- si Mami Liberty <laughs> is uh, she writes a lot and she coaches people how to write as well din discover din niya ang potential ng mga future uh, writers out there. So, uh, as you can see, magaling po si, Ma- si Mami Liberty, especially pag magbigay yan ng advice, dire-diretso yan. Whatever problems you have, uh, she has something to say about it. Kaya nga nandito si Mami Liberty. I can say, thank you, thank you po. <laughs> Pasensya na po, I'm not... <laughs> hindi ko po hindi ko lang kita. Pasensya na po. Nagpaliwanag tuloy siya ng bongga, mami. Hindi, para hindi na-realize, na-realize Yes. ko rin parang parang baka ito ang basahin na naman kung bakit ayaw ng mga future guests na pumasok dito. 
Eh, ako pa naman straightforward ako. Sasabihan talaga. Kaya ako. Oo. I know that you guys can do it. That's why I am passing difficult <laughs> questions. <laughs> Uh, back to back to economy. Etong, etong, what is the the disadvantage of a freelancer? Naman sa ngayon na ganitong, di ba? Maraming mga mga cons din as a as a freelancer. Like um, you have to take care of your own HMO. You have to take care of your own taxes and stuff like that. Um, na apektohan ba tayo with this COVID with with these things that we need to take care of, Miss Bong? Parang hindi naman, kasi di ba parang as freelancers meron naman tayo na save. So parang mm. hindi masyadong na apektohan. Siguro nagulat lang talaga mm. na parang everyone naman is shocked, di ba? Parang nagulat lang talaga na tapos parang naghold ba karen dun sa pera mo? Mm-hmm. na parang ayaw mo pa siya oh. ayaw mo pa siya galawin diba kahit may pambayad ka so ayaw pang galawin tapos parang lately ang naging ano ko lang nakakalito rin yung sinasabi nila especially about dun sa bank loans yun yung naging problem ko oh, oh. Huh? Bakit? Bakit? Yeah. 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 bank loans eh yeah, kasi what, sabi what nila walang interest eh sabi nila walang interest oh. Oh. magdadagdag daw oh. ng 2 months sa after diba magdadagdag daw ng 2 months kasi hindi ka nakabayad ng April, May. So, magdaragdag daw ng two months dun sa last day na, yung sa last month nung ano mo. Tapos, ang oh. pumunta ako sa bank, meron pala siyang accrued interest. Oo. Tapos, yung pinakumpiya yung accrued interest, pumapatak din, halimbawa, dun sa yung loan na 36,000 per month ko, ang babayaran ko is 29,000, additional 29,000 sa dulo. Kung hindi, mm-hmm. hindi naman nila in-explain, kasi sa mga text nila parang, di ba nakalagay para oh, may grace wala. period? Mm-hmm. Parang wala. Gano, tap, wow. Walang nakalagay. So parang dun-dun lang ako nagulat. Kaya sabi ko, ay, kesa naman bayaran ko yung interest na yun, sayang naman, isang hulog din. So parang mm-hmm. pinaano ko na lang, pinauto debit ko na lang din. So dun lang ako na-shock, pero yung ibang expenses hindi naman. Uh, this is, uh, ay hindi this... pala sa grocery naaran ni tayo sa, sa expenses sa grocery kasi yung mga iba expenses naman parang fix naman na yun diba? ayun uh-huh. na yung budget natin pero yung budget ko for grocery tumaas <laughs> truly oh. Oh, lalo naman na ako ay, oo kasi nasa bahay ka parang di ba dito meron kang breakfast meron kang merienda tapos may lunch may merienda may dinner may midnight snack ka pa so mm. parang tumaas talaga yung expenses ko for groceries pero okay lang kasi naka menos naman ako ng ano ng allowance wow. ng mga bata di ba yung allowance right. ng mga bata so parang okay lang din at least safe kami dito sa bahay uh-uh. correct correct Uh, that's nice pero it pisses me off knowing na uh, yan ang nangyari sa mga bank loans na yan you know what yeah. ladies and oh god I'm pissed off oo ladies Carlo at, la- namin ganyan Carlo diba, diba, nakakainis na, kasi meron nakauto sabi debit walang na interest na. tapos yun pala meron pala tuloy meron pala kaya lang extended lang oo oh, oh, may tapos, extend yung ano extended man. pero may accrued interest Correct. That, Tapos ang nakakainis, is... nandun yung pera, naka-auto debit, ayaw nilang kunin. Hindi sila kasi... nag-debit kasi bawal, maningil. Oo, bawal. Pero gusto uh-huh. mong ipabawas. Ewan ko, pinapabawas ko, ayaw naman ibawas. Tapos ngayon, meron kang interest na kakalbo. Eh kasi bawal nga maningil doon sa time na nakaisip ko tayo. Pinapasingil ko nga sila. <laughs> Laki na problema ni Ana. Akin na ako nalang maningil sa'yo. Wala. Ito mo ako pangbayad. Ayaw singilin ni, no? Yeah. Ko na. It's uh, uh, you know what I'm I am seeing I am also seeing more and more advertisements on on social media of this new thing that um, a lot of companies are delving into online stuff. The problem, ladies and gentlemen, is you should not trust many online advertisements, especially right now, dahil ignorante po sila sa online stuff. Nanunubok sila, everything is experimental right now. In fact, tayong mga freelancers that we have been freelancers before the attack of COVID-19, we know more than they do. And this is the time that you should go to the companies. Now, you are doing, you are doing it wrong. Yeah, this is the time that you should go them to go to them. Kung gusto niyo ng direct clients, this is the time. Lumapit kayo dito sa mga nag-advertise ng kung ano-ano. Kasi nga... And dami nilang mga the, the thing here in the Philippines the thing that I hate so much that they allow here in the Philippines is false advertisement. Hmm. 
Ang dami dyan, kaya marami sa atin itong nalilin lang na akala natin walang bayad, may bayad pala, akala natin may discount, hindi naman pala. Yung mga ganun, ang dami ng ganyan. So please, be very careful, due diligence, and which is good kasi training wheels din natin ito as freelancers. We have to know how to filter information. Uh, I'm so sorry, na, medyo na personal, na personal ko ito kasi it pisses me off that so many companies are abusing this online stuff para lang uh, just to just to steal more money from from the people. Ah, uh, um Ayan, tuloy. Nawala na ako ng anong susunod kong question. <laughs> na, na, napikon, napikon ako doon eh. Parang nakakainis naman yung, yung loans na yan. Hindi, hindi siya... Ay, dagdag ko pa para dagdag kang pikon. Pag hindi ka pumunta sa bank, <laughs> hindi, pag hindi ka pumunta sa bank, hindi para makapagpapala sa kanila, na halimbawa kung isasettle mo ba yung April, May na walang interest, pag hindi ka sa, pumunta sa bank, automatic na yung accrued interest tsaka yung two months na additional. Ayan. Buti na lang para nagbayad na kami sa bank. Kaya nga, buti na lang din nag-settle kami. Magmumura na. Eh, di ka yun. <laughs> Ito, mga stressors po. This is how we are affected as freelancers. This is mga information that is going around that is affecting us, which is not supposed to be. Pero, eto pala, buti na lang naalala ko na. There is one common theme that we seem to be uh, that we seem to be dealing with. Our advantage as freelancers, dahil tayo, nakakapit na tayo sa online, everything that is online, which means that we are dependent on the internet. Now, uh, our lifeline is the internet. Paano, paano na kapag magkakaproblema tayo dito sa dalawang, dalawang uh, internet providers na ito? What do we usually do uh, as a good practice para hindi tayo mawalan ng... Uh, para, para hindi, hindi tayo... Para okay tayo, secure tayo sa ating trabaho with, with regards to internet. Um, yan, si Bossing na walang internet yan. Ayun, <laughs> Jason? <laughs> I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna say Jason anyway. <laughs> well, yung ano, yung... Yes, ta, eh, no? Pero wala-wala. Wala, yung ano. <laughs> oh, yung PLDT na kakainis. Pero, <laughs> yung ano, <laughs> internet. I can hear, like, I can see you grit <laughs> your teeth. Yeah, pag, pagkasa- <laughs> pagkasabi pa lang, yung PLDT na kakainis. <laughs> 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 oh, oh. Sige, moving on. Para, hindi naman puro negative tayo ngayon. Um, you know, we have to have yung backup backup solutions uh, lalo mm-hmm. na yun kasi yung backup ko dati one of my backups was yung mga cafe yung mga yung mga coffee shop ah. mga ganun and at, at that time wala di ba kasi they're closed so wala akong yung main backup ko may globe din ako na ano na data pero mabagal i don't like lahat kasi gumagamit <laughs> oh lahat na gumagamit so, ang bagal na yun ng mga data actually so Kaya, um, nabiglaan ako. Pero, I'm thinking of getting um, like a second line. Um, magastos, like one five per month, I think, additional. Pero, yun, it's 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 there as a as a duplicate. Well, ngayon, nag, no co-working space ako kasi nag-open yung co-working space namin dito. Ah, um, mm, Pero, reduce 50%, 50% capacity. So, parang isang tao per table. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Akala ko bumalik kayo ng HQ. Diba? Wala Wala ng si Jason. At, at, galit pa rin kasi ako sa utak ko kaya hindi ako maka, makaisip ng tanong tuloy. Pero buti na lang may nabanggit si Jason. Uh, okay, so magastos, magastos ang ano ang internet service provider. Yes, magastos din. We also have our uh, VA bootcamp that we offer to everybody. Uh, we are talking about money here. Sabihin na natin, if if a person is very very new to freelancing and he asks, he or she asks, uh, what uh, how much should I prepare for in total? para ready ready ako pumasok sa sa freelancing. Um BC si Ana. Bong? <laughs> how much in total? And hindi yeah. naman siguro how much. Parang yung kailangan mo lang talaga is basic yung inter- yung laptop at saka yung internet. Hmm. 
yung mga headset naman, di ba, parang may camera naman na yung, may mic mm-hmm. din naman yung laptop. So, for now, pwede ka pang wag bumili noon, di ba? Pero kung papasok ka dun sa mga requirement, yung mga noise cancelling, yun, pwede kang bumili noon. Pero may mga mura naman na headset, di ba, na working naman, hindi mo naman kailangan bumili ng mga Plantronics. Kasi ako, from experience, nung nag-start ako, bumili ako ng Plantronics na mahal na headset. Parang 2,000, <laughs> nagpabili pa ako sa asawa ko. Tapos hindi ko naman siya nagamit. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi naman ako nag-work ng, ano, diba, ng voice na kailangan talagang walang sound, walang mga tilaok ng manok. So parang, yung iba kasi parang common notion na kailangan nila may headset, may webcam. Mm-hmm. May ano, pero pero ang kailangan lang talaga is laptop na may working na camera at saka yung okay na yung mic nun. Mm-hmm. Kung wala pang budget for headset, kahit yung headset ng cellphone, basta working. Diba? At saka yung internet kasi yung importante, yung internet connection. At least 5 Mbps. Kasi para yeah. lagi nila tinatanong kung okay ba yung data lang, data lang na unload. Para mm-hmm. hindi ko masagot na in, in, kahit anong provider, ang, kailangan, ang importante yung internet speed, hindi yung kung ano yung kung kahit mobile data ka lang. Tapos may mga job na required nila, wired yung connection mo, hindi wifi. Pero may mga basic task naman, like yung mga fixed jobs or mga fixed rate, hindi naman, may mga job naman na hindi nagre-require ng wired. So okay lang ng wifi. Yan. Yes, I did receive a question that was asked on Saturday. Hindi ata natin na-address ng diretso, kaya uh, nag-PM siya sa akin asking oh. about the specs of computers. Okay. Ang sagot ko sa kanya talaga, it really depends on the, job, the jobs that you're applying for. There was a time uh, that I was asked, kasi nga nasa video field ako, I was asked to be a security guard per se. Yung, yung mga 16 videos daw papanoorin ko. So it means to say, doon siya nagtanong na naka-wifi ka ba o nakakonek ka ng diretso? Maganda ba ang computer mo? Will you be able to watch this? Will you be able to grab uh, information kung sakaling merong suspicious na ano doon? And, and yes, if if you happen to like that particular project, you definitely need to fix your priorities, which uh, brings me to this question. What are the priorities in chronological order, Anna? Priorities nang <laughs> To spend on. <laughs> Saan? Kasi nga, ang, tan- ang tanong ko, ang tanong ko, kan- <laughs> ang tanong ko kanina, Kebong, Saan ka ba, uh, magkano ba ang gagastusin mo overall? Sabi ni Bong, depende-depende rin. Okay, so if if it is depende-depende, what are the priorities where you need to look at pagpapasok ka sa freelancing? Ang priorities mo, ayun, dapat na ano? Na pagkagastusan mo. Na pagkagastusan mo. Hmm. Uh, ako, yung nag-umpisa ako talaga, yun nga, nag, nag, ano muna ako, nag, nag, u, nangutang ako ng laptop sa so, home credit. Laptop muna yung nun ako. Laptop tapos may internet na ako ng time na yon so laptop na lang talaga yung ano yung sinunod ko kasi parang inisip ko nga kung may babayaran ako ng internet connect internet ISP or yeah, internet nga kailangan may pangbayad ako dito so um mm. para makapagbayad bumili muna ako umutang muna ako ng laptop para makapag makapaghanap nga ng work pero kailangan din um, mag mag-invest ka din talaga on learning sa mga skills mo. Naku, may tumatawag sa akin. Hanala. Bakit ko lang tumatawag? Sige, go entertain your phone. Entertain your phone. Mommy, can you please, uh, would you able to continue this? Uh, what Anna is saying. Yes, please. Uh, primary, primarily, you'll need, syempre, unang-una, uh, kung wala ka pang, halimbawa, kasi mas mura desktop eh. Mm-hmm. So, desktop, 7,000, parang 7,000, may desktop ka ng maayos eh. Diba? Tapos, wow. yes, yes. Punta kayo sa Gilmore. <laughs> Doon ko wow. binili yung unang-una kong computer. 5,000 lang nun. Mm, ano. Tapos, syempre, internet connection. Now, as you go along, uh, pwede kang mag-invest sa modem na you can bring anywhere. Kasi mahirap yung packet wifi eh. Unstable oh. ang connection niya. But if you buy, uh, if you subscribe, to a modem. Parang sa amin, ang kinuha na anak ko, yung globe na modem. Mm-hmm. We can bring it anywhere. Tapos, pagka yung mabagal talaga si PLDT, alam mo naman, pagka nag-turtle pay si PLDT, siya yung ginagamit ko. Of course, uh, ang maganda doon, lo-loadan mo lang siya. 
So it's not oh. uh it's not a regular monthly thing Mm-mm-mm. that you pay for. So pag mabagal si PLDT, maglo-load lang ako ng 100. Yung may may promo ang Globe, eh, 'di ba? May mga promos naman ang Globe. So yun, kung ano yung promo, Andy Surf or ganun, yun lang. So mas matipid basta ang importante. Yun nga lang, you can you can use it pag traveling kasi it has to it has to be connected to an electrical ano uh mm-hmm. oo ganun G- ganun ng ano plus tip ko pag mag magaganto uh, kayo tapos uh, you know that internet is going to be a problem kumbaga san bawa nakatira ka sa area na medyo unstable ang internet connection always always do your work ahead of time That's that's the best way for you to keep your job. Always yes. do your work ahead of time. Wag yung kung kailan yung deadline na isa pa lang ano tapos ano. Ah, uh, pwede naman eh time management lang yan, organization lang yan. So do your work ahead of time. Unless of course hourly kayo. Mm-hmm. Kaya I I I I try to avoid hourly jobs na laging project based, fixed fixed price para ano, I can do it anytime. Ganon. Ay, I love that. Uh, there's something you mentioned, Mami, na that strikes me very, very well here. Uh, kasi sabi mo po, uh, with, with, in this scenario, parang mas prefer ang, preferred ang our, uh, project-based na, ano, na contracts. Okay. Um, so, now that things are changing, prior, uh, mas okay ba talaga na project-based ang kukunin natin instead of hourly, uh, Jason? Well, in this, normally I always say yes to that. I'm I'm always someone who prefers um, project based versus hourly. Um, pero right now I don't think there's much of a difference um, as compared to normal, especially since like normally I like project based because this is the way I work. Um, I work anytime basically. I work on yes. flexi schedule. But but before and after the pandemic, for me, there's really no difference um, if you're doing hourly or project-based. Um, and I guess most of us, they are at home nang, naman most of the time. So hourly doesn't really hurt that much. You know? So not really a big thing. Not in this case, so. Yeah, may nabanggit pa si Mami kanina about uh, getting a modem. Eh, kasi tatang- tatanungin ko sana, especially you, Jason, that, that uh, because you... Uh, what do you call this? You endorse people to always have a backup when it comes to I intern ISP. Pero ang ang iniisip ko kasi, paano kapag yung ano nang gagawin mo dun sa backup mo? You're subscribing to it monthly, tapos you're paying for another monthly thing. Pero yun nga, nasagot ni Mami na sa kanya kasi, bale, prepaid yung yung modem niya. What about those people who already have two subscriptions? What are they, how do they manage that? What is the best advice you can give for those who have two in, uh, ISPs para naman um, ma-maximize nila yun. Well, yung ano, what what I did before I had, I had actually both Globe and PLD is, um, di ba, min, minsan may times talaga na babagal yung internet. So you just switch to another another connection. Yun lang. Um, or if you do downloads or something, for example, well, well I guess if, if you have a family, you have kids, um, I guess the best practice would be yung isa is for family or for fun. And yung isang connection mo for work lang, gano, yung main dun. So that you know, if they're watching YouTube, like download the games or whatever, it won't affect your work, right? So, and it serves a dual purpose. Did na backup more in siya yung isa. Nice, nice. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. When it comes to managing, managing our ISPs, kasi nga, maraming mga katulad ko rin na nanghihina yung sa kumukuha ng backup. Kasi nga sayang binabayaran mo na hindi mo ginagamit. But I love these two recommendations from Jason and from Mommy that uh, you can either get a prepaid modem or you can just manage uh, how to use both of them, as Mr. Jason Tulay said. Oh, what about niches, Bong? From what you have seen in in VA in VA bootcamp, ano ang mga as of now this this pandemic happening, ano ang mga mas uh, mas successful na mga niches na papasukin dapat ng mga students? Yeah, yung pang e-commerce, no, kasi everyone is into online selling. Kasi so, parang inire, inire, parang inaadvise naman na mag-start online selling na lang instead of physical store na magre-rent ka ang store, di ba? E-commerce, SEO, hindi naman nawawala SEO, di ba? 
content. Sabi oh. nila, diba, ang dami ng online seller ngayon, wala nang online, wala nang buyer, puro online seller. Oo, oh, nabasa ko ngayon. Wala nang buyer. Wala nang buyer. Nag-online <laughs> seller na lang. <laughs> <laughs> ah, buti na lang nabanggit ninyo ang online se- selling and e-commerce. Um, we are here to encourage people to yeah, just embrace the paying of taxes. As freelancers din naman, even before this thing is happening, itong bagong news natin about uh, taxing online sellers, even before this happened, for years we have been encouraging people to take the option of paying our taxes as freelancers. Kaya nga... To some of us, we are already prepared for this. We are already doing this. To some of us, we are already informed about paying taxes, although we are not paying taxes. So, uh, no judgment. No judgment. It's, a, it's okay. No judgment. Pero yun nga, it, there will come a time that we will be mandated to pay our taxes as freelancers anyway. Is this something that we need to uh, give light to uh, even more? As of now, uh, mommy, what is your opinion on that? Of course. Yeah, na naman. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry. Of course, of course. Pati it's our duty naman eh. If you pay taxes, yeah. Kailangan naman natin talaga yun. So it's it's an additional expense. But then, kailangan din kasi ang ITR when you uh, get loans. Car loan, mm-hmm. house loan, uh, when you want to travel abroad, kailangan din yun. Hindi ka rin, magagamit mo rin siya. So, look at it as an investment, not as a liability. Ayun. I, I, love th- I love that. Ooh, put it down. Lahat ang sinasabi ko, love mo, no? Uh, yes, mommy. <laughs> yes, mommy. That's, why I lo- that's why I love asking you questions. <laughs> I love that kasi nakakalimutan natin, nakakalimutan natin uh-huh. that paying taxes is, uh, is in fact an investment. The, uh-huh. Nakakalimutan natin yun. Especially to us who are well exposed to social media. Kung meron mga nagpuputak-putak dyan, naapektuhan din tayo. And uh, sometimes we get... Uh, we also receive those ideas na akala na we, that we need to protest against paying taxes. The thing is, it really is our duties as Filipinos. Kaya nga, ito ang isang dapat nating i-encourage dito sa mga bagong mga online sellers. To, uh, Miss Anna? Yes. Nakakala ko busy ka na lang. <laughs> Para hindi mo matanong. Ayun si Technic Father. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi um, may uh, uh, how do we encourage people especially ito mga bagong online sellers is it good for us to target these uh, businesses as freelancers you know parang tulong-tulong din sa ating mga kapwa Pilipino as we are the experts right now eh sa ngayon sa ngayon sa, sitwa- sa sitwasyon ngayon we are we the freelancers are the experts regardless of how many weeks or months you stayed as freelance in freelancing, tayo po ay mas educated when it comes to working from home and working online. So we are the experts as of now. So are we? Uh, is it appropriate for us to reach out to these small businesses and new businesses in the Philippines and to teach them our ways, katulad ng pagbabayad ng taxes and how to market and at the same time offer them our services, Miss Anna? Yes, um, but ang ginagawa nga na natin ng VA Bootcamp, we're um, creating webinars para mas ma, ma ano natin sila, ma reach nila, ma reach talaga nila natin sila, malaman nila kung ano yung mga ano mga bago ngayon and kung ano yung um, pwede nilang gawin instead dun sa mga mga nag-work sa corporate ganyan yung mga may mga businesses na pwede pa lang maging online freelancer din sila at the same time. So for the whole month of June, yun nga meron tayong mga webinars na ginagawa. Tapos yun nga may free may free course. Ayun yung kaninang nakat din ako, yung kaninang dapat preparation din talaga ng mga newbies na talagang nag-work para sa akin. Is nag-invest talaga ako on courses na hindi ko pinanghinayangan kasi yung iba nanghihinayang talaga pag sinabing what 7990 ang mahal ng course na yun eh ako nga for 4000 lang yung invest ko dati mahal na mahal talaga rin ako doon inutang ko pa rin yun pero ang laki sobrang laki nung balik sa akin and looking back parang pagka iniisip ko sabi ko ang galing ang galing nung pagkaka 
pagkakaayos ni Lord dun sa buhay ko. Kasi parang kung hindi ako online freelancer na nangyari ang COVID, baka mam- namatay kami sa gutom. Promise. Hmm. Kaya, kaya sabi ko, I'm very thankful na na-discover ko siya ng mas maaga. Kahit medyo late na marami ng freelancers, di ba? Way back then. then no? Mga four years ago, parang ito talaga yung pumuhay sa amin ngayon na pandemic na nasa bahay lang kami tapos sama-sama kami. Kaya kaya talaga pag kami nakakausap ako mga friends ko din, talagang sinasabi ko sa sabi ko sa iyo dapat nag-start ka na dito, 'di ba? Pero ang hirap, pero ang hirap kasi pilitin ng ayaw, mm-hmm. 'di ba? Kaya yung mga yung ginagawa ng VA Bootcamp, continuous na na mga learnings or mga webinars para talaga maturuan sila na ito na yung next na best thing na dapat gawin para ma-save talaga sila sa bahay. So yun. Wow, very nice. And how about you transition to uh, advertisement? Ayun na nga. At dahil, <laughs> dahil naman dahil lang, ay mag-share screen na ako. <laughs> Dahil ang dal-dal mo. <laughs> ito na, ito na ako. <laughs> Nasa na ba yung PowerPoint na yan? Nawawala. Uy, may pogi. Yung pogi ka agad ang lumabas. Mamaya na yan. <laughs> Mamaya na yung pogi. <laughs> Mamaya na yung pogi na yan. <laughs> Ayan, announcement. So, Wednesday, June 17, 3.30 p.m. Interview with Robinson si- Simon ba? Simon. Bongski. Ano pala siya? Robinson Hi, Simon. Man. Okay. Ako ko si Mon. Hey, si- Sige na. Ako nang mali. <laughs> How did he handle <laughs> Tagalog rejections? Na Tagalog, si Tagalog na Tagalog. How did he handle rejections when he was just starting out as a freelancer? Oh, very timing to. So, mm-hmm. para dun sa mga magsa-start pa lang na newbies na wag wag susuko agad kapag naka nakaramdam or naka ano ng rejection, diba? So, watch nyo to on Wednesday, 3.30 p.m. with Phoenix Jackson. Ayan. And, ayun nga, as mentioned earlier kanina, yung meron akong ano, sinabi na, marami tayong ano, VA Bootcamp webinars, natapos na tong Facebook ads uh, ni ni uh, LJ, how to get started as a Facebook ads freelancer. Meron, available pa ba yung ano, replay nito, bossing? Or tapos Uh-oh. na? Meron pa. So, yun, pwede nyo pang mapanood siya sa, ano, sa page, or nasa YouTube din ba? Wala. Nasa YouTube din. May YouTube din kami ha. Follow nyo kami doon. Ayan. 8 p.m. Eh, 8 p.m. Tapos na pala to. Ayan. Yung work-life balance ng Saturday, kasama kami. But, um, so, this coming 20th, sa June 20th, what you need to know if you're considering homeschooling for your child with days where to do so. So, ito. Maganda rin tong topic na to. Kung um, mas i-homeschool i- mo na lang yung anak mo or yung online, yung online mo na uh, enroll sa private school niya, diba? So, yan. Panoorin niya to 4 p.m. Um, uh, how to use online teaching tools with bossing sa so, June 27 naman to, 5 p.m. And, yon as mentioned earlier nga, dun sa mga newbies at gusto mag-invest sa inyong uh, sarili, um, pwede po kayong uh, mag-enroll. Meron kaming, uh, may, may paid course aside from free course. Yung free course naman, freevacourse.com. And, if interested ka mag-enroll, vabootcamp.ph slash enroll naman yung pupuntahan mo. Ang kagandahan, lifetime access na siya. So, pwede mo siyang balik-balikan. Tapos, ang mga packages namin available, merong skill package for 3990 So, kasama ni dito ang email management, calendar management, internet research, social media management, website management, office application, at saka transcription. So, may installment din tayo ha, yung every 15 days. 1490 lang. So pinamura itong package na to talaga. Naka-design for ano, for COVID yung ano, yung mga walang budget. So yan, pwede kayo diyan mag-start and if gusto mo mag-upgrade later on, meron tayong accelerated na 7990 na meron ding three payments for 2990. Tapos meron din tayong complete package para sa meron talagang sobrang budget, 19,990 kasama naman dito yung lahat ng nasa accelerated. Plus special courses na SEO, WordPress design, email marketing, content writing, bookkeeping, Facebook ads, at saka nandiyan din yung road to 100k na dating 30k yung ano, yung price niya. So all in na siya sa complete package, malaki yung matitipid nyo. Tapos meron tayong free course for road to 100k. Punta lang kayo sa rebootcamp.page slash 300k course. Tapagod ako. Yan lang. Thank you very much, Miss Anna. May question dito si Muhammad Ali El Kabant. 
kapuntalan, Coaches, gaano po katagal yung adjustment period ng isang bagong freelancer? Kasama na yung schooling mo for your skills until getting your first client po. From corporate world, uh, then shifting to freelancing. Who would like to answer this? Um, Iba-iba yung sagot. Iba-iba. Iba-iba. Ako, pag gutom ka, kailangan ka agad mag-adjust. Pag hindi ka man nagugutom, eh, di po ka mag-adjust. <laughs> Pero kung gutom ka, ay di ba yung mga mga pera ka pa, oo. Oo. I, know, I, think, I think everybody agrees with that. It really depends on how desperate you are. Uh, does everybody agree with that? Yes. Yes. So we do not have a specific time span for you, uh, Muhammad. Muhammad, is it a he or a she? Is Muhammad a he or a she? It's a he. Uh, it, yeah. Uh, so for you, Mr. Muhammad, uh, we cannot give you a specific time span. Depend talaga sa execution mo and your needs. Because even if you are needy, if you are not executing what you have learned, then you will be stuck. And if yeah. you are aggressive enough to, even if you are not needing much, but if you are aggressive to apply what you have learned, then it'll take a shorter period of time for you. Yun ang pwede namin masasabi. And of course, uh, add, let's say, 10% luck to that. Kasi pag minsan talaga, um, sinisuerte pag minsan hindi. But, but uh, let us just encourage you to keep on doing what you do. As if if you are a student, then keep on, just take it one step at a time and trust the process. Dahil yun lang talaga ang pwede namin masabi sa'yo. Trust the process. And you will get to where you uh, where you want to be anyway. Ayan. Okay, since we are uh, we have reached the hour, dahil nandito si Jason, medyo estricto siya sa ano, sa may pagka-pinky rin itong si Jason. <laughs> Pag ano eh, ayan eh, alam, alam na niya agad kapag natapos na ang oras eh. Let me ask some final words from you, coaches, kung ano masasabi po ninyo sa mga kasama natin, whether they are newbies or still future freelancers. Let's start with Miss Bong. Ano ang sasabi? Kahit ano? No. <laughs> Kahit ano? Kahit ano Hindi no. yung doon na lang ano ako mag ano ako doon kay Muhammad. Hmm. Oo, parang kasi di ba yung VA Bootcamp is what, designed siya as a one month course. One month. Pero katulad si Miss A, tinapos niya ng one week. Ako tinapos ko siya ng two weeks. Pero yung yung taking action after, si Miss A nakakuha agad siya ng client after niya ma-finish yung course. Ako hindi. Kasi hindi ako ganun ka-confident sa skills ko. It took me four months after I finished the course to get my first RE client. So parang depende talaga sa'yo. Kasi kahit natapos, meron din naman, tinapos ng mabilisan yung course, hindi naman nila naiintindihan pala yung course. <laughs> diba? Kasi ang question pa rin nila at the end of kahit graduate na sila, ang question pa nila nila, may mga question pa rin sila, paano gawin to? Mm-hmm. Diba? So parang hindi pa rin, parang tapusin mo yung course na hindi ka naman nagmamadali para i-imbibe mo yung sinasabi ng course. Kasi yun lang talaga yung nakatulong sa karamihan sa amin. Yun so, lang. Kasi yung si bossing. Kahit nakaka-untalk yung bosses ni BJ din nun, talagang kasi sinusunod ko siya, sinusunod ko siya. Pero hindi ako agad nakapag-take action kasi kapos ako sa confidence. So siguro mas marami sa inyo na hindi ko tat katulad ko na takot or kapos sa confidence. Mas marami sa inyo, mas gutom mm. na gusto talagang magka-client agad. So yes. depende na kung paano kayo mag-take action after nyo mag-finish yung course. Pero parang, pero napakagandang investment na yung VA Bootcamp. Hindi dahil na dito kami nagtatrabaho, pero dahil parang kami yung buhay na saksi. Tama ba yun? Hmm. Yes. Uh, kami yung buhay na saksi, yung isa sa mga produkto ng VAB na talagang hanggang ngayon, eh, thankful kami na nag-enroll kami dito. Kasi kung hindi, maliligaw lang kami sa dami ng information online na napaka-overwhelming na talaga sumasabog na yung utak ko kung paano ako mag-start. At nakaiwas din ako dun sa mga scam. Kasi parang yun yung pinaka-investment ko. Tapos kwento ko lang din kasi, na, uh, kasi kaka-start lang ng Guided Hustle Challenge. And meron akong uh, uh, yung under ko si Jeline Benitez. Nabasa ko yung story niya dun sa trailer board natin. Nag-enroll siya after ng Flip Summit kasi nagustuhan daw niya yung mga coaches dun. Yung lahat ng mga nagsalisa. And then the first, yung first day na nag-enroll siya, nakakuha agad siya ng first client. Nabawi niya na agad yung investment niya. Wow. May sobra pa. 
graphic design yung client na nakuha niya. And ang problema niya ngayon, hindi pala siya nag enjoy sa graphic design. Hindi pa siya nag enjoy na, pero <laughs> nabawin niya ng investment niya, di ba? So ngayon gusto niya mag-venture sa iba naman, gusto niya mag-e-commerce. So parang ano lang, kung saan tayo magiging masaya, Mm-hmm. At kung sa tingin natin na hindi naman din tayo, parang gut feel hindi naman kami nanloloko, hindi tayo scam, di ba? So, parang go lang. Invest in yourself. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Um, uh, sarap na, na pick up ko kay, kay Ms. Bong kasi uh, as freelancers, we have a different set of problems from what is the past norm. Uh, sa corporate, iba ang headaches natin. Dito sa freelancing, uh, we have different headaches like Uh, hindi ako masaya sa graphic design kahit na mataas ang pera those uh, those are good headaches those are good yes. problems those are problems that we actually welcome and yeah I hope that everybody will have such kind of problems and ma- masaya tayo at least yon ang achievement yon ang goals na lang natin it is happiness not so much about the money anymore thank you very much Miss Bong what about you mommy Final words. Uh, push lang ng push. <laughs> go lang ng go. Um, Maghanda ka ko na, mami. Push, <laughs> na, push ka lang mag-push. Tama yan. Oh, oh. Iiri mo lang yan, te. Oh, okay. yan. <laughs> De, Thank you, mami. <laughs> seriously speaking, um, freelancing is still for everyone. If you have the grit and determination. Um, you may not be as successful as others, but you will succeed in your own pace and time. Wag mo i-compare yung sarili mo halimbawa. Meron tayong iba-ibang ano eh. Meron iba-iba tayong timeline, sabi nga, 'di ba? Merong ngayon, ah, uh, merong ang bilis makakuha ng work, parang pagkatapos na pagkatapos ng VA bootcamp, may work na agad, 'di ba? Ah, hmm. uh, meron namang ilang taon na When that happens, if that happens, if that's your case na ang tagal mo nang nag-aral, ang tagal mo nang nag-invest, tapos wala pa rin nangyayari sa'yo, maybe it's a time to step back and look at the bigger picture. Hmm. Bakit? Tanangin mo rin ang sarili mo, bakit? Do not blame yung courses, do not blame the economy, or do not blame outside um, hmm. forces uh, if nothing's working your way. Uh, do some retrospection and then uh, maybe get some advice and then work. Work on it. Yun lang. Great lang talaga. Ang galing ni mami talaga. Ang galing talaga ni mami. Mami, oh. do you have anything <laughs> to... <laughs> Grab, I guess kasi mamon di ka na kailangan magsalita masyado. Oh, pro- <laughs> <laughs> profound eh. Yeah, Kaya ma- mula ko eh. yung mahirap na tanong. <laughs> <laughs> yun talaga yun eh. Kaya ako siya kinis. Para sa kanya na ibuto na. <laughs> oh, thank you Grabe very much, siya. Mami, for that. Ang daming mga pointers na nasabi ni Mami. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen are taking notes. Kasi uh-huh. eto nga ang nakakagulat kay Mami Liberty. Pag minsan eh, uh, sa isang paragraph, eh, 15 na ang advice. Vices na niyang nasasabi. <laughs> It's so nice. It's, Sanay ba nga no? Sanay gumawa ng ano, listicle. Yeah. <laughs> Nakasanay na talaga. Well, Mami, uh, do you have anything to advertise? Uh, wala naman. <laughs> wala yung naman. Yung mo. Ha? Yung group mo. Na mga mm. oldies. Freelancing for the young ones is for hopefuls, freelance hopefuls who'd like to learn the ropes of freelancing. Oy, Jason, ingugest kita doon, ha? Huwag kang umangal. Umangal ka na. Pero, gano'n nga natin dinaan sa lahat ko si Jason. Obvious ba? Kasi yung tunay na kulay na matapang, Jason, ha? Minraso, eh, gano'n. Hindi na siya huminga, eh. Oo, di ako pa hindi kay mga... Si JT, last week ng June. O, yan. Tapos, gano'n din, brasuhan din. Uh, and then um, hopefully I'll get I'll finally get my book published uh, on uh, November yun ang target date of wow. okay. it's nice. two years oh. in the making <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, happy birthday, birthday mother birthday thank you mother of independence day oh, wow. oh wow ay kaya pala liberty that yes. makes sense nice yes yes yes, yes. 
Ayan. So, thank you. Thank you po very much. And good luck to future endeavors, Mami Liberty. Looking forward thank to you. your... Thank you, Mother. Looking forward to your book. You're That's, welcome. Always guesting. Yeah. Okay, oh, ladies and gentlemen, prepare to prepare some small amount of money to purchase that book para uh, sa pagdating ng December, pag-ipunan na natin. Konti-konti yes. naman niya. Miss Anna. Yon, buti na lang ako yung ano si bossing talagang special dito. Eh and dun sa mga <laughs> dahil nga sa new normal natin, di ba? Imbes na imbes na magpa ano tayo ma, ma, malungkot dahil sa sitwasyon natin na ganto, di ba? Yung iba walang work, yung iba um walang pera. Um why not make um parang it take advantage niyo yung panahon na, na nasa bahay lang kayo. Baka baka para din sa inyo nga yung freelancing. Hindi nga siya madali sa umpisa pero malay mo, di ba? Um nasa nasa ano mo naman yan eh, nasa uh, tiyaga mo at saka yung determination mo and yung motivation mo. Kung gusto mo talagang matutunan to, maraming mga free courses online. Maraming meron din si YouTube, meron si Google. So yun, um nandito rin ang VA Bootcamp, may mga freelancing groups din. So um kesa kesa malungkot ka at magmukmok na ano ganito ang nangyayari sa ating mundo di ba eh a- aralin mo na lang kung paano ginagawa namin para maging masaya ka rin katulad namin maging masaya <laughs> eh yun ganun lang <laughs> for everybody hat Yan. Thank you very much for that. Sila Ana, sila Ana sa kasi bang talagang napapagod na silang nagbibigay ng advices. Kaya no, <laughs> kasi halos everyday na lang na natatanungan yung mga yan. Yes. <laughs> okay. And last but not the least, our beloved uh, father of uh, VA Bootcamp, Mr. Jason Tulay. Well, we, right now, di ba, parang we live in a time na uncertain, everything's uncertain. Diba? And I guess that's one of the major stressors. Kahit freelancers tayo, mm-hmm. we don't know what's gonna happen. Diba? And that's a big, a big stressor. Um, pero with it, diba? what, what we do know, we do know that the world is changing, is shifting towards online. We do know that there are more online sellers. Diba? More people are going to e-commerce. Now, we, we should be focusing on what we do know. Right? We should be in times like this, na maraming uncertainties. Let's focus on what we do know. We do know that freelancing, if you're not a freelancer, freelancing is a great opportunity. But there, there are lots of opportunities here. So, kasi when we worry and when we parang think about all the problems, we magagawa about the things that are uncertain. But Beron tayong magagawa when it comes to harnessing the opportunities and making the most of our time and focusing on what we can do. So, yun, just focus on. And what we can do, um, because that's all really we have control over. Yeah. Great advice, great advice. And mind you, ladies and gentlemen, pati si Mr. Jason Tula, he is also he also has to make a lot of adjustments dahil affected din siya dito sa dito sa COVID-19 na ito, uh, especially in his in his area. Medyo pa, uh, iba rin ang rules nila doon. And he also has running businesses that are offline that are also affected and even his online businesses are affected. So we have to step up and innovate. That's why as he said, you have to trust on what you know. That is also what he is doing right now. And so far, we are, like I said, we are surfing still. Ladies and gentlemen, um, ang isang natutunan ko sa, sa investment is when a company and when a company's stocks is falling down the stockholders do not withdraw the more that they invest on it. Because when you fall down there is no other way to go to than go up. Lahat po tayo na hihit na po natin ang rock bottom dahil wala na nga tayong wala na talaga walang wala na so there is no other way to go to than to rise up marami po sa atin ang ganyan ang, ang nararamdaman hindi natin alam kung saan tayo pupunta just climb up dahil yun nga there's no other uh, way else that we can deal with this Because we are still alive. So as long as we are still alive, we still have hope. As they said, it's very cliche, but it is true. You have to keep on going. You have to find ways and work with what you have right now. Wag na po tayong umupo na magantay. Because as, as you are waiting for the norm of 2019 to come back, you will stay stuck there. So you have to face forward and move with whatever you have right now. Para po sa atin, itong freelancing na ito actually 
maramit po tayong opportunities ngayon. Maraming, maraming, maraming ngayon dumadami ang opportunities even right now that companies are starting to embrace this online thing as other people say it. This is the perfect opportunity for everybody including newbies, including those who don't have clients yet to kapalan ang mukha and present yourself because like i said even if you have only learned if you, even if you have only studied within a month of freelancing you are already considered an expert and para sa inyo po na hindi pa hindi pa nakapag-aral here we are teaching you things that you need and tools that you need so go to our website or go to our page and ask go to join our groups and ask del marami pong magbibigay ng information sa inyo go to our web page and read all about it del marami kang information na makukuha doon and with that alone with that tiny little knife that we can offer you you already have a weapon to face this battle that we are going through Okay na yun. You will survive with that. You will be able to eat. You will be able to feed your family. So I encourage you, lahat po kayo, kung meron po kayong mga kaibigan dyan na, na parang kawawa na, pero hindi, hindi mo matutulungan financially, bring them here. Teach them how to how to be a freelancer. Teach them how to be like, just like you, how to be just like us. Tulong-tulong na lang po ang gagawin natin dahil uh, by word of mouth na lang natin masosolve ang mga problema natin financially. Who knows? You might even save a life right now. Thank you very much for coming and have a good day. Bye! <laughs> Bye! Yeah.